don't even know how to start this video because I never thought I'd have to make a video like this. Um, so I was, the last couple of weeks I've been keeping, I suppose, a secret from you guys and I know you would have been really excited and happy for me because I, me and X were pregnant and Today I would have been seven weeks and one day pregnant, but three days ago I started to bleed and um, immediately I rang my doctor and they booked me in just to get tests done um, in the local early pregnancy unit. And um, I wasn't too worried at the time because I know bleeds and can be quite normal in early pregnancy and um, I went in for my test, blood test the next day so they did an ultrasound and they thought maybe I wasn't quite as pregnant as I thought I was. Um, I may have had my dates off and um, so they did another ultrasound. So they did a regular ultrasound, they did an internal ultrasound and again they just said look your dates might be off which they could have been and um, then they just took some bloods and at the time I wasn't having a lot of bleeding and I still felt pregnant uh, per se um, and uh, they just sent me home and said to come back in two days where they do the blood tests again so in the blood test they're testing for HCG which is um, the hormone released by the fetus um, and that's what they test for in your urine for your pregnancy test even at your, your at home pregnancy test that's what you test for and um, so when I went home uh, Lex was away working on a photo shoot and um, throughout the day I started getting very bad cramps I started bleeding very heavily and this has continued for the past two days Today I went in for my second HCG blood test and it's confirmed that I've had an early miscarriage. And then, um, so I'm, I'm not pregnant anymore and it's heartbreaking and I know a lot of people have probably been through the same thing where they were excited to be pregnant to tell all their friends in a couple of weeks time and their families and that's where I was at I felt I was like so excited to start a new series in the new year for you guys to show how you can have a fit and healthy pregnancy I was so excited to have a baby and to be a mum and I, I know some of you probably think it's like why is she telling us this why is she making this video because I get messages all the time about when are you and Lex gonna start a family and like comments on my Instagram and my YouTube saying oh we need Griffin babies and it's something that we've really wanted and I'm just heartbroken and I, I suppose I'm making this video because I am in the public eye and I get questions about when we're going to start a family and I've always said that I feel those questions are inappropriate because you don't know what someone's going through, you don't know anyone's fertility background but I've always been very open with you guys about where I'm at and I feel like I need to share this on YouTube just so you can be a bit more sensitive and maybe not ask questions about when I'm going to have a baby or anything like that because I'm clearly very upset and I want to be able to move on from this and continue with my life and maybe at some point try to get pregnant again but right now I'm just really really sad because I was very excited to be a mum and I'd already bought maternity clothes. I like even in the last couple of videos, ye may not have noticed it, but I was like bloated around my tummy. I know I didn't have a baby bum because it wasn't possible. I was only seven weeks pregnant, but I had 
a notable like two inch extra on my waist and which has subsequently over the past three days disappeared my breasts had gone up about two cup sizes and again they're gone back to their normal size now i've been very lucky i wasn't feeling any morning sickness and um, i was feeling quite tired and um, had a few dizzy spells but apart from that i I felt like I did everything I was meant to do. I was taking my folic acid. I'd cut back to like one coffee a day, if any. Um, and I did everything that I was meant to do. And it was my first time being pregnant. And I know I did everything I was meant to do to have a healthy pregnancy and have a healthy baby. But, you know, one in three pregnancies for your first pregnancies end in miscarriage which is a crazy statistic and to be honest i never thought i never even dreamed that i would be that statistic i just presumed because i was a healthy person who's fit and like eats well that i wouldn't have any problems and i suppose no one is immune to this it doesn't discriminate and this isn't the kind of video i wanted to do i didn't want to sit here crying on youtube and having to share this with people who i don't know but i put myself out there on social media so i have to put this video up and i'm i'm really sorry if this like makes anyone else feel bad or feel sad because that's not what I want and I know there'll be so many women will message me with their stories and I'm thanking you in advance because I know that's what you'll do because when I had my colposcopy and biopsy so many women reached out to me and told me their stories and it did make me feel so much better but right now I just I feel heartbroken and it's very hard for Lex to understand what I feel because he doesn't have the hormones in his body and he doesn't have didn't have the baby grown inside of him and he didn't have that attachment that I suppose women and mothers get I'm just gonna leave the video here I, I did I'm really sorry if I've upset anyone <laughs> but I just had to share this because obviously I don't want anyone being insensitive and asking about Lex and I's fertility or babies or anything like that because it's just it's too <laughs> sad right now <sighs> so I will be back to normal and I will move on but right now i just today i feel really sad and i am thankful that i am healthy and i've got lex and i've got my dogs and i've got a good life and i am thankful for that and i'm thankful for anyone who watches this video and like if anyone else has gone through this and um, i really feel for you because i've heard of friends who've had miscarriages before and i just i could i didn't feel it and now I know what it feels like and I just wish I'd almost been more sympathetic towards them because it's just such a horrible feeling <laughs> of helplessness again I'm sorry for being sad and upset and I will get back to my normal vlogs but right now I just feel shit i hope you understand thanks for watching